morning guys so it's May 9th and I woke up to this sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be not dead yet true shit so why do I worry about what I can see I've been stressing about my Yeah, that's right, it snowed last night. This is fantastic. It's actually still snowing right now a little bit. Hang on guys, there's actually a goldfinch just over here. I'm gonna see if I can get him on camera. No, couldn't get him on camera. Yeah, so I got a new product yesterday. Well, I didn't get it yesterday, but I unboxed it yesterday. I'll show you some of that footage right now. And uh, so today I'm gonna set that up in my backyard. It's a new hunting blind, but I'm gonna be using it for photography. And I'm hoping, because I've seen a lot of people use them and be successful, that it's gonna allow me to get really close to some of the birds in my backyard. And if it works here, then I'm gonna be able to take it out of the field and use it other places too. Without any further ado, I'm gonna show you some footage of me getting it set up. And then uh, I'll get back at you when I'm in the blind. Talk to you soon. So I've got the hide set up now. Um, I'm sitting in it, I've got my camera out. My battery's about to die in my vlogging camera, of course. Just wanted to let you guys know I've got it set up. I'm taking a few pictures of the birds in the snow. I'm not gonna go in and get a new battery right now because I've actually got some bird action going on, but I'll show you some of those clips, some of those pictures right now, and then I'll get back at you when I get a new battery for this camera. There's a crackle there right now.
So I'm sitting out here, got a cup of coffee. There's a feeding frenzy going on. I've got five or six doves, a uh, female red winged blackbird, a couple of grackles, some finches coming by. Uh, I'm really enjoying this blind. Uh, I actually have the window fully or almost completely fully open. Uh, the birds don't really seem to mind. It's keeping the snow off of my head, uh, but it's nice because I can actually get out and shoot in the snow and I'm getting some really nice environmental shots. So I'll show you guys some more of those right now and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Well guys, I've been sitting out here for maybe about an hour now. My coffee's gone and my hands are getting a little cold. So I'm actually gonna head inside, do some work on my computer. I'm gonna come back out probably in a couple hours, have another little sit and hopefully get some more really cool photos and videos that I can share with you guys. So stick around if you guys wanna see more. I forgot to mention, when I come back out, I'm bringing out a mat so I can actually lay down on the ground and I'm gonna try shooting some ground level shots underneath the blind. So that should be pretty cool. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back in the blind. I just came outside and I've got some doves feeding in the grass right now. I'm getting some pretty nice shots of them. And I really like how the uh, corners of this blind are, they're not fixed down, so as long as I don't have it pegged down, which I don't right now, I can actually lift up one of the corners. I think I am gonna actually go peg down the other three corners though, because there was no wind this morning when I set it up at first, but it's starting to get a little breezy. It shifted around on me a couple times now, and I don't really want it going for a ride. So I'm gonna wait until these doves take off, then I'll go out, I'm gonna tie it down, and I'm gonna keep shooting on the ground for a little while longer, hopefully get some more birds feeding in the grass. I really like the perspective with the grass kind of blurred out in front of the birds. As you guys can see right now, this is a really good time to use live view in your camera because I don't need to get my eye right down to the ground. I'm just using live view. And then I've also got just a blue phone camping mat and a towel to aid in my own personal comfort because you guys should know that if you don't stay comfortable, you're not going to stay out as long, and if you don't stay out as long, you're not going to get the shot. Well, the sun's come out now, but of course the birds have all left, so I, uh, I did get out. I pegged down three corners of this thing, so it's definitely not going anywhere, but I left this corner unpegged so I can still do some ground level shooting. I'm hoping some more birds are going to show up. If they don't, I might take a break for a bit, come back out, and uh, try to get some more shots of them on the perch. Well, uh, no more shooting on the ground. It just started blowing like crazy. Uh, two of my tent pegs actually came up, or tent pegs, the pegs that are used to hold down the corners of the blind. So I actually had to shift the blind a few inches to get the pegs into some more solid ground and peg down that fourth corner. So I'm resorting back to shooting at eye level, which I'm actually not upset about, but it was nice to be on the ground. However, it is now just chucking it down. We are getting so much snow. This is May. Come on, this is May. Why is it, what, why? Anyways, taking full advantage of the weatherproofing in this blind, uh, staying nice and dry in here. My camera body is not weather sealed, so I gotta keep the camera dry. The lens can get wet, um, and then I just dry it off to make sure no extra water gets onto the contact between the lens and the camera. I'm finding out that this blind is pretty useful. In fact, for my backyard photography, I think it's pretty much ideal. Uh, I am going to be making a couple modifications to it in the future. Look forward to those videos because we're doing some DIY stuff. So far, overall positive experience. And I'm just going to keep making use of this and show you guys some more footage and photos.
Well, welcome to Canada. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. The sun's coming back out again. Uh, this is just absurd. I mean, it's springtime in Canada. What are you going to do? But it's pretty cold. Kind of wishing that I had worn a warmer jacket. And my house is, well, literally right behind that camera. But, you know, got a female red-winged blackbird. And a couple grackles. House sparrows. That's about it right now. Kind of wish I could be laying down that female red-winged blackbirds in the grass, but this wind is crazy and I am not risking this brand new blind blowing away. Grackles, sparrows... We had a blue jay come by when I was inside getting coffee, of course. Had a woodpecker fly over, of course. Did it land? No. Do I have footage? No. Well, the wind has picked up like absolute crazy again. Just like it was earlier, the weather's changing every five minutes out there. We're getting snow, then we're getting sun, then we're getting wind, then we're getting more snow. We've got a little bit of a dove feeding frenzy happening right now. I'll show you guys some footage of that. So far, none of the uh, really colorful visitors, no blue jays, no woodpeckers, had a male cardinal, didn't get a great shot, but oh well, it's still nice to be out here. And this blind is actually amazing. It's cutting down on the wind chill dramatically. It's still a little chilly, especially for May, but I refuse to put on my winter coat. So sorry if you guys can't see me, uh, just one sec. So male cardinal came back but he's on as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my camera dying the northern cardinal came back but as you can see by this footage he didn't exactly give me a good photo opportunity so fingers crossed he's gonna come back again later this evening getting on for a little after 12 o'clock now and the sun's kind of out in full force so it's not really my ideal time to be shooting. So I'm actually going to head inside, get some housework done and uh, come back out later in the afternoon and hope to get some nice soft evening light. Hopefully get some more nice pictures. Well, I just had a terrifying experience and uh, a learning experience and I made a really big fucking mistake and I'm not even going to tell you what I did. I'm actually going to save it. It's going to be its own little video. It's coming out on Wednesday and I'm going to talk about it, but thankfully everything's okay. I was terrified there for a minute. Here's a little hint for you guys. Make sure you look after your gear. Anyways, I'll get back with you if anything more happens right now. We've just got the doves and the grackles still out there. So I have to keep opening up windows and the door for light so that you guys can see me whenever, you know, I'm talking to you. But now it's snowing again, so it's literally snowing inside the blind. Yep. American tree sparrow out there right now. Uh, it's not super uncommon or anything, but I don't see them often around here, so I'm pretty happy that he's in my backyard. Well, I'm back out for sit number five or six today, uh, which by the way isn't ideal. Realistically, if you're going to use a blind like this, you want to stay out pretty much all day, you know, maybe one bathroom break, but you want to spend as much time in the blind as possible. I'm just kind of doing a test though, so. You know, so far overall impressions, I mean, it does seem that the birds are a little more comfortable with me being out here and being in the blind. Uh, I've been testing it out using various versions of the windows. So as you can see right now, I've just got the little portal open, but sometimes I've had the bigger window open. You saw earlier I was shooting out from underneath. Got goldfinches and grackles and doves out there right now. Okay guys, so I have to ask a question. Is the autofocus noise on that lens bothering you guys as much as it is me? I don't know if I can, well, I don't know. I'll see what I can do about it in post, but 
it is driving me nuts and unfortunately that's the best low light lens I have for filming right now so I guess we'll have to wait and see. So far nothing new in the last couple hours. I've been looking out the windows even though I haven't been coming outside. Since there's nothing particularly fascinating happening right now I figured this would be a good time to tell you guys a little bit about this blind. I bought it from a local store, Canadian Tire, about $130 Canadian. It's dimensions, it's about, well it's exactly 5 feet by 5 feet square and 64 inches tall. I know I should be using metric, not imperial, but those are the dimensions on the box and I don't feel like doing conversions. It is so far, I think, a great investment. I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this blind. Can't wait to actually get it out into the field and use it in some different areas. Gonna be using it a lot in the backyard too. It's supposed to be waterproof. I don't think it's waterproof. It's definitely water repellent. I'm gonna be doing some waterproofing of my own on the seams and stuff like that. Overall, pretty good value. It's lightweight. It does have a few drawbacks. The guy lines aren't amazing. It's got seven windows, so it's got four big windows, one on all four sides, including one on the door side. And it's got three little small portal windows, which are, you can see, that's what I'm using right now. Sorry, I thought we had more goldfinches, but we don't, just grackles and doves. We have grackles and doves all the time. Anyways, overall, so far I'm giving it two thumbs up. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. As I said earlier, there are some modifications I'm going to be making. So if you guys are interested in learning some kind of DIY camouflage hacks and uh, that sort of thing, then make sure you subscribe. Uh, if I missed anything about the blind, if you guys have any more questions, leave a comment down below about it and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And maybe at some point in the future when I've given it a little more testing, I can give a more in-depth review on this blind. Back to waiting for the birds. So I can't open a window right now for more light, so sorry if it's a little grainy, I had to bump my ISO up. Also, sorry if it's hard to hear me. I just spotted one of our rabbits that we have. We have two or three rabbits that visit our yard almost every day. And of course, that's the time that a perfect love being interrupted by cars. Anyways, I just spotted an eastern cottontail in the next yard. Uh, right now it's sitting just on the other side of the fence, but of course also behind a tree trunk. So if it moves even a few inches, I'll show you a little bit of a clip just so you guys know I'm not lying. I'm really hoping it comes into the yard. I want to see how it reacts to me in the blind. Well, stay tuned for an update. You'll either see some footage or you'll see me telling you how I didn't get anything. He's in the yard. I told you I wasn't lying. By the way, I just noticed, sorry if the lighting, I look kind of spooky. I didn't want to open any windows because I don't want the zipper noise to scare him away. He's coming right over the feeder. Well guys, I think that's going to kind of be the last you're going to see of me today. Uh, I'll show you guys some more footage and pictures that I captured later on this evening, but uh, I think my overall initial first review, blinds are awesome, get yourself one, it's going to make getting closer to the animals easier, you're going to get more shots, and hopefully this is going to lead to some really awesome encounters for me. So stay safe everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and...
I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.